Getting my friends to go wine tasting is always super easy. However, there comes this moment when they realize that they're not at a sports bar and they're not at a club and that they're surrounded by wine connoisseurs. It's kind of funny because I can actually see the deer in the headlight look in their eyes and suddenly they're like, what am I supposed to do? Wait, wait, what am I not supposed to do? How do I hold my glass again? So I've come up with a few simple do's and don'ts for your next wine tasting. That way it's a lot more fun. Here's how to hold your wine glass. You never want to pick up your wine glass by the bowl. First, you're going to get fingerprints all over it and it just doesn't look that neat. And if you happen to be drinking white wine, that bowl is going to be cold, wet, and most importantly, slippery. And I've seen it happen time and time again when someone is drinking, having a great time, eating cheeses and olives, talking to someone cute, and they go to take a sip from that glass and whoosh, down it goes all over themselves and at least five other people in their vicinity. So what you wanna do is pick up your glass by the stem, holding it between your thumb and your forefinger. This makes it really easy for you to swirl, sniff, and sip. Your other option would be hold your glass by the base. And if you walk around like this, no one will assume that you're not a professional. Going to a wine tasting is all about the experience. You wanna swirl the wine, you wanna sniff the wine, you wanna sip. It's basically wine porn. So you don't ever wanna wear heavy perfumes or cologne when you're going to a tasting. If you happen to do this and people smell you more than they smell their wine, the commentary will be brutal. Something else you wanna avoid when you're at a wine tasting is taking medications. You never know how a drug is going to interact with wine. I once had a woman take sleeping pills while she was at a wine tasting and she fainted in a whole room full of people and the strange thing was no one noticed. I actually had to give her first aid. So basically, just be careful when you decide to take medications, especially if you're going to be drinking. And last, but definitely not least, don't get drunk. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I hope you guys have found these tips helpful, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. And check out my blog, A Wonderful Thing Called Wine. The links are in the description. I'm Masha Nunley, and please remember to eat, drink, and be merry. Bye.